Hello again. Hey, it's fire. I got Mark here. I'm just, I'm in the shop looking around. It still needs some organizing. I got you, uh, my towels. Let's see, I've got some respirators and some visors. I've got a bunch of rough, uh, some different material. I've got a little ultrasonic uh, tumbler there, um, a cleaner. That's a, that's a great thing. I think I got like Slaughter Mountain, some Mexican, some various bits and polishes. I uh, got some stones in various stages that still need some work. I've been marking into them. You can see there's, let's see if we can, here's one that, uh, it's Deer Creek. I'm just going a little bit deeper wherever it's brown, just trying to get rid of that positional color and bring out the brightest. Um, that definitely requires a visor and up close work. Well, let's see. Yeah, these just these need to go a little bit deeper. Here's some more rough. Some oops, sorry for that. The lighting, that's terrible. Um, it's a nice piece of slaughter mountain here, and you can see some bright greens down in here. really vivid green right from the top and with those bubbles in there. That's pretty. Let's see. This is more Slaughter Mountain. And uh, you can see these layers of purple and green in the stone. And the nice thing is you get a cross section like this and you know where to follow it. You can follow it back like a puzzle all throughout the stone under the rest of the rock. So I like having that little exposure. That's, that's what is commonly referred to as a window into the stone. Uh, some people carve into the stone and that's windowing. Um, let's see if I have an example. No. Just some more slaughter mount. So I've got a couple different stones, but I just wanted to tell you what a windowing was. Uh, here's one that's been marked up. You can see where I gone. I had to go in deeper because there's fissures in the stone. So I'll come with my Sharpie, I'll mark into the stone, and that lets me know where I have to carve a little bit deeper or get into it with a little more of that contour. <clears throat> and that happens. Sometimes you can get past the fissures and sometimes they just don't go away. So, um, you know, it is what it is. The stone's got a little bit more depth, but not too much more. Um, I, I won't go with a, a polymer or anything. I'm not gonna fill the stone. I'd rather get down into the, the depths because that's where you get the really true color. So, let's see. We've got some, oh, this thing's, the little vacuum, that's kind of nice. It has this attachment at the end, and that helps suck up the dust as you're carving. Along with wearing the respirator, that works. And I also use a fan as I'm doing it, um, and an air purifier, because as much dust as I can keep out, the better. Um, I got these um, from a buddy. I'm, I'm going to have to check and, and get all his information so I can make sure that uh, they're available. Um, Right now, we're going to have to, uh, why am I drawing a blank? Oh my God, I am so sorry. Um, <laughs> I feel like it, anyway, I'll fix this. Uh, just some random tools. Always got more tools. There's a toolbox down there with more tools. Um, let's see. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a little shot of the shop. I am working on some material. I'm getting ready to. Uh, I'm getting ready to set up and do some more videos. So now that the shop is set up, I got ventilation set up. I got my table. Um, I'm excited to go. I've been doing a few projects. Now I got the iPad, so I'm going to be doing some more stuff. Thank you very much. A uh, huge shout out, and I will be mentioning you here in the comments. Deep apologies for brain farting some names away. That's terrible. Anyway, thank you all.